this is gonna have probably part two, maybe a part three, I don't know. But just recently, I uploaded uh, a post about when people should consider getting married or when people should consider dating. And I got some responses from that, uh, even on private, uh, people saying things like, uh, bro, shouldn't we advise people to get married young? Or shouldn't uh, young people get married while they're young? And I, I would always say this, just saying people should marry when they're young without qualifiers is bad advice. The best advice you could probably give is to say marry when you're ready. At least that will push a little bit of some self-reflection, some self-examination. Because when you say get married when you're, when you're young or get married when you're old, they will just pick an age and consider that young or old and consider themselves ready for marriage. That is such bad advice, okay? Now, let me explain a few things. A lot of times when I say marry when you're ready, people would then ask, what does it mean to say I'm ready? And for Christians, this is a specific, there are some specific nuances to this. First, let me just say this. Doctrinal knowledge does not equal maturity. And it's because of male delusion or female desperation. I know that sounds controversial. Let me explain. Okay, so male delusion is when guys think, I know Calvinism, therefore I'm ready for marriage. Or I know these certain doctrines about eschatology, therefore I'm ready for marriage. Like a lot of guys think just because they're spiritually mature, quote unquote, that they're ready for marriage and their marriage material. That is farthest from the truth. In fact, here's the thing. The moment you believe that doctrinal maturity equals character maturity, it shows your immaturity, okay? In other words, the moment you believe that knowing doctrine makes you mature, that reveals or exposes your immaturity. You, the only time you can say that you really know a certain thing, especially in doctrine, is if you're applying it. A simple example of that is swimming. If you ask a lot of people, do you know how to swim? They will never think, I know how to swim because I know the strokes you're supposed to do. The only time people will say, I know how to swim is when they know that they can float and that they don't drown. Nobody will answer, yes, I know how to swim, theoretically, but you know, if you put me in a swimming pool, I'll probably die and meet Jesus. They're, like, it's basic common sense. Ask any person, do you know how to swim? The first response will be based on whether or not they can actually float and not on theoretical knowledge. So why is it, if you ask people, do you know how to swim? It's always a practical thing. But when you ask people, do you know this or that doctrine? Or do you know this or that? Uh, are you this spiritually mature or not? Their answer is based on knowledge and not application. You ask them about swimming, it's about application. You ask them about doctrine, it's about knowledge. Why? That shouldn't be the case. Because Jesus himself said that if you you know my words but don't do them when the storms of life come, when the spiritual Odette storms come, your house, bam, it's going to be on the floor, right? It's going to be rubble. So really, the truth is, it's delusional for people to think that if they just know doctrine, they're already somehow mature and they're ready for marriage. And that's a huge problem because here's what I see that usually happens when it comes to you know, this is my experience, okay? This is my experience. My my uh, conversations with the conservatives in my circles. Not all, but most, okay? They say marry young, marry young. But these same conservatives are also the people who somehow feel that just because they know certain doctrines, they're spiritually mature. I'll give you a few examples. I've met some conservatives, some reformed guys who just meets this girl online, has no idea who this girl is, messages her and says things like, you know, I am reformed, I, I, I believe this and that, and based on your posts alone, I see that you also believe this and that. And so, you know, I'm looking for a wife and I, I think I am ready for marriage, therefore, I'd like to get to know you, blah, 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 blah. If your approach, if a guy's approach to marriage and to women is to flat out just lay their intentions right there and then. Like we don't live in the early 1800s, okay? We don't live in the early 1800s. We're in the 21st century. You approach a girl that way, that just shows you're immature. It shows how immature you are because you're treating, 
your knowledge of doctrine as your level of character and attitude and maturity. And you're treating a woman's posts online, her social media posts, to be her level of maturity. You don't know her personally. Why would you give her your intentions for marriage based solely on her social media? You don't know if she's getting drunk every night. You don't know if she's going to all-girl Wednesdays at the bars. You don't know if she's flirting with a hundred guys left and right on social media pretending to be spiritual when she's not. So you are immediately putting yourself in a situation where you could be immediately deceived. That's so immature. That's immature behavior. And so that alone, and you don't know her background before, when a guy shows interest in a girl in early in the early 1800s, 1900s, early, okay? When a guy shows interest in a girl, it's not because he just looks at a girl and looks at how she behaves. She, The guy actually looks at her family background to see if she comes from a good family because in the guy's mind <clears throat> and in the culture and values of the world a long time ago, years ago, many years ago, the girl's background and family upbringing is, makes it reasonable for men to assume that she holds the same values, okay? And so before a man expresses interest in a girl, he will talk to his own parents and he will ask his parents about the parents of that girl. And then there's a lot of, of research that goes into it. There's a lot of connections and network. It's not like today where it's nothing but social media. You don't know about her background. You don't know about her family. You don't know about her friends. You don't know about her church. You don't know anything about anything. All right, anything can be faked on social media. You don't even know if it's a dude behind that. You know, like that the pretty face is a sixty-year-old guy. You know, just pretending. So you have no idea, right? So really, um, it shows your your level of immaturity. But the problem is this: it's delusional for men, and it's desperation for women, because women today, especially today have become so desperate to getting married and just finding a guy right away because we are now living in a hook-up culture, Netflix and chill culture, sleeping around, fornicating, immoral, sinful, evil culture, like more than ever, okay? Women have become so desperate that what they do is when a guy just posts a quote from Spurgeon or Calvin or, or you know, Paul Washer or whoever, the girls immediately think, oh, this guy is so mature. Therefore, if he shows the least bit of intention, the answer is yes. You know, like, you don't even know the guy. And the guy just suddenly says, I want to get to know you. Sure. You know, like, I, I, I'm I, looking for a wife. Amen. That's me. Like, really? You're going to say yes to the first guy you meet just out of desperation. And the guy, you don't know the guy. The guy doesn't know you. But... You, you are willing to pander to his delusion because of your desperation. Do you see that? It's delusional for men, desperation for women. It's so dangerous. Now, let me qualify a few things. Let me qualify a few things. Some men will, will probably have some factors that are good for them. Maybe they come, up, they come from a very good family. Their family has very, very good values and they inherited those values and they abide by those values. That's good. Maybe they're in a church, in a community of faith that is, so they're surrounded by men and women who are mature, a lot of married couples and these married couples are, are very excited to, to mentor younger couples, to mentor uh, young men and women to get married in a good, godly way. Those are good things. But, Remember this, just because, okay, just because your whole family knows how to drive and they all have driver's licenses, it doesn't mean you're ready to own a car, right? It, it just doesn't work that way. We all know that. What are your intentions for getting a car? Maybe the reason why the person wants to get a car is just because he wants to go out with his friends and get drunk or he wants to have a car so that he can you know, flirt with more girls. Maybe you've got some ungodly intentions like, or un unbiblical intentions. So why do you want to get married? It doesn't matter sometimes. So many times it does matter, but sometimes it doesn't matter what uh, culture or community you, you have. So why do you want to get married? I've asked some guys and some guys, oh my goodness, the answer is crazy. It's like, I am just burning right now. I am horny all the time. I'm aroused all the time. Why do you want to get married? Unlimited sex. I want sex on demand. And if I can get that from a wife, then I'm going to get married. 
Then obviously, that's the wrong reason to get married, right? So just because you're surrounded by people who already have driver's licenses, it doesn't mean you're ready for a car. Just because you're surrounded by a community of people who have mature faith and, and mature in their character and their attitudes and they're ready for marriage and they are married, it doesn't mean you are ready for marriage. It doesn't mean that you should start looking for a spouse, a husband or a wife right away. Okay, so this is part one. I'm going to upload a part two soon. It's going to be symptoms of immaturity and desperation and delusion and what you should do about that, okay? So, should you marry young? Should you marry old? The answer is marry when you're ready. And there's a whole gamut of tests to take a look at yourself and to examine yourself. God bless you.